getting professional. <laughs> Not as with the coffee, like, I know. about to share some information. Yeah. Me and Anna were having a deep talk about climbing. <laughs> and we were like, we felt stuck for a while, I guess. Yeah. I felt like I've been similar level for maybe like a oh, while. Over a year. Even. Which, like, for the Two record, years, I think maybe. it's like normal. It's pretty normal. But we're kind of, um, we're kind of crazy people. Like, we like to, like, have really high ambitions normally. Mm -hmm. Or at least, at least I do. <laughs> so I don't really enjoy plateauing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, at the end of the day, if you just go to the gym all the time, like, yeah, you'll get better. But mm -hmm. if you go in with a plan, like, that's it obviously gonna be more. better. Yeah. Obviously, we've basically just been shooting videos and then training. Right. And even the training resembles our videos. It'll be kind of like fun, it'll be like chatty, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it was talking about how you have straight arms and like you push with your feet to the next hold and not like pull as much. Yeah. Like your arms are a good resource, but like in a limited quantity. It's, it's interesting because like, you know, you always do like the drop knees on the yeah. opening and that's like a really, good technique I was reading about to keep your hips close to the yeah, wall. Yeah, to turn in. Because yeah. that like helps you not like sag, basically. One more thing, sagging hips are usually worse because there's not as much pressure on your feet and then they'll just cut. On like, like this. Yeah. And then it's way harder, you're like gonna slip. Right. And I feel like most of the time I'm doing overhang, like that's when I fall. I'm like, ah! okay, from the wall. <laughs> yeah. But, like, this, oh, like you just br solid. bring your hips up. Yeah. See? Uh huh. It's gonna slip, but this way. And your arms are so straight. Yeah. Yeah. So that was so interesting. It's like a weird move, kind of, but it's way more solid. So if I were to have like these two. Yeah. I wouldn't like do this. Yeah. As much as I do this. Yeah, with the bent arms. I would, I would just bend. Because that also keeps you in, but it's way more tiring. This instead of this. And it's like, yeah, you still have to pull at points to go up, but like. I think that's why I burn my arms a lot. Yeah, that's why when we get to the top of this wall, we're done. So tip number one, consolidated would be hips in. Hips in. Use feet. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't, like, I don't not use my feet, but I definitely, mm -hmm. when I do a move, I'm definitely thinking about pulling. Right. And I mean, that's not right. necessarily a bad thing. Because mm -hmm. I was, because when I was reading about this, I was thinking, like, for you, like, your legs are strong, but your arms are really strong, too. And I feel like you might have, like, conditioned yourself to climb overhang, like, a certain way. Yeah, I think so. Because like, so I think if you try to like intentionally think about your hips and your feet, it might feel a little clunky at first. But, at first, yeah. But, but I think help. like, I think it would help you. And a smear, that's what we were talking about. Like that? Yeah, that's... Oh! It's really hard. There you go. Being straight on is really hard. This is so much easier. Yeah. yeah. Big twist. Look at that. Very good. They're, they look quite good, but they get pretty, pretty bad. Hopefully I can do it if I uh, learned anything from what I researched. Exactly. <laughs> Hips in and... Oh. Yeah, hips in, hips in. Nice. 
Nice. Yeah, good job. I think I, th I think that was pretty good. I was trying. That was that, pretty that good. Did a little twist. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I think if you draw your hips in though, you'd actually be hanging more under it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I think, because like... Because like this way rather than like this. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So if you just lean under. Got you. I got you. Yeah. Oh my god, the dry fire. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Oh, very good. That's awesome, dude. Good job. Nice and straight arm. Really good. Big drop knee, right? Yep. That's a twist. <laughs> that was solid. I did try to do hips in more. And you just immediately did it. I did. Yeah, I got it. And not only that, you, you kind of looked like solid enough to the point where then you could keep going after the hard move. Yeah. Which is really good. And I did manage to fit three in the pocket. <laughs> but yeah, that's like this and then If you just did a that. huge drop knee, you, you had it. Yeah. I think I like knew that, but it was really hard to do a drop knee. I but see. I think that is what I have to do. Prime example of I would Gaston lock this leg like that. Oh my god, you would. You're so right. I would do that right now. Right. Instead, I'm going to try to lean over on this and be straight. Like rock over a straight arm. Okay. Wow. I should be able to rock over on this. Yeah, that's a good foot. Yeah, that was good. I mean, I don't, I don't think you should be afraid to use your arms, but yeah, that was good. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was good. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. That part's cool. Yeah. yeah. The difference of just... If you do like lock off. Arming through this. Okay. Right? Yep. Right. It was harder. I think it was harder, but because I'm so used to doing that type of move. It, it feels more normal. It feels natural. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. I like didn't know. What to do. Yeah. I was really trying to twist. That was actually, good. That was good. Way easier roll. Really? That the cross of the pocket, like so much more chill. <laughs> like I. That's just funny. Really. Yeah. That was that was, so that was really good. Oh, hips in. Oh yeah, that was good. Nice. That was good, that was good. Twist again. Oh! That was that was great, nice. Oh my god, this moves hard. Woo! <laughs> I think it's just a cut. I think it is. Cause though they're really good. Yeah. It's cool. After that, look at that hand heel match, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I think it's a little bit of your jam up there. You did good on that one. Good technique. You know what I'm noticing? What? With all the twisting and the hips and uh -huh. the, 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 the... Oh! <laughs> 
it's, it's a lot of like strange back flexibility. Uh huh. You know, you're like. Yeah. Like I feel that a little bit in like. Yeah, like, and all the twists, yeah. This one very quickly can get like out of hand if you don't do the right positions. Yeah, that was a nice heel hook. I was considering that. Straight arm, that's good. Big twist, yep. Huge twist. But slipped, but I think I can see it. Yeah. That part's really good. Just a wicked drop. Yeah. It's just this. It's bad, yeah, it's bad. Twist, this way. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think that's hard. Yep. Nice. Yep, you got it. Very nice. Yeah, that's good. Hips in. Good job. Oh, this is hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's tough. yeah. It's really good though. That was good. Good job. That part's pretty hard. Yeah. Really solid. And then, oh, really good. So much better. And, and pull, guys, nice, nice. <laughs> that, yeah, that was dope. such a solid move though on the- Way easier with her foot wow, on Wow, that was though. really good. Okay. Really good. Wait. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Really? Wow. No way. That's crazy. No? It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Come on. Just pull it, pull it. Nice, nice, nice. Almost, almost. That was really good. You just missed it a little, a little bit. I know, yeah. Right as you hit that, you gotta engage and do a pull up. And go up, yeah. Yeah, otherwise you're done. Right. I'm gonna try from the start doing everything right, just see how far I can get. Then okay. we'll hop on the kilter board after you give a couple more goes. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, hips. Oh wow, that was super good. Look at that twist. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yep. All right, come on. Beautiful. You got this. So good. Come on. Come on, Paul. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. You got it. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, nice. Oh. That was good. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> that was hard. That was that looked really tough. I'm so proud I got up there. I know. Just very clean, like very well done. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I underestimated How, body position. Me too. Because quite, quite I'm like good. reading <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's just back and arms. And then we <laughs> no. try it and we're like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Yeah. There is one moment where it is full back and arms. Right. You catch that. You right, notice. because, right, there is. Yeah. And I think, like, the body position even helps you there because you're not too tired to do that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's why I hit it. Right. Big move here. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice. Nice. Get the heel up quick. Come on. There it is. Ooh, good tension. This part is so hard. Oh, double heel hook. No way. Uh, that's so good, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you noticed. You did it really well, and you didn't use a toe hook. I had a heel here and a toe hook here. You did? Yeah. I didn't even know. I had that. a bike. I had a bicycle. You had a bike. You do love your bikes. Yeah. You just did pure heel engagement. Yeah. Which is, you know, worked for you. And then yeah. the double heel almost I worked. I think that'll work. 
You want to try that again I'll or try no? I'll one more time. Okay. Then kill her. Try the bike too. Guaranteed you easily do it. Really? Yeah, yeah seriously, yeah. So it occurred to me when I was trying to heal, hips were low. Were so sagging, no technique, just compress. Yeah, she didn't do the and bike. When Paul did it, he had the good technique of like your hips up and like. Yeah. So. So basically, you like strength your way. Make, it makes that. sense because like with all the compression heels I do, I think I just got yeah. good at it. And then I you could just don't do really that move. Technique. Versus like. You use the good technique. Maybe it's because I couldn't heel just, hook yeah, like I, you did. Right. It's what happens to me with Gaston Lockoff. I know, I was going to say. The same thing. Yeah. So, yeah, if you bring your hips in and use a bike, I bet that move becomes I'll easy. i try with a bike. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Easier? Yeah. Nice. Come on. Come on, compress hard. Oh, wow. Very good. Jesus, crazy. Come on. Oh, so good. Yeah, you're really strong in that position. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell, you know. I think the double heel is pretty good to get your arms over, but it, yeah. it does make it harder to, like, rock over. Then you swap it to a toe. Probably. On underneath, maybe. Probably. That was good, though. That was super good, yeah. Yeah. Did the bike help? I do think the bike was easier. A little bit better? Yeah. Yep. Like, I wouldn't have seen that. Well, it's, yeah, what we talked about. Like, you're good at heel hook, so oh, I'll just heel hook, crank down, go, you know? You're right. It's very common for that yeah. to happen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, Learned let's a lot. do, uh, yeah, let's do the kill turner. And so I saw a lot about, like, doing weekly core exercises to help you <laughs> Like, three times oh, a week. Wow. And it was not, like, super crazy. It was, like, you know, sit-ups and crunches and like stuff like that, like three times a week. And like a little bit basically goes a long way. Okay. So I don't know. Like I I don't know. I never do core. I'm I never do core either. But maybe that would help because maybe. Like, I don't know if we would necessarily need to strengthen our core, because I know you don't have a problem really with tension. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you could help. if you want to get better, yeah. that could I, I saw that basically. I'm just letting you know. Pivoting, you can like reach much yeah, further than yeah. if you just go like this. And so like it's actually really useful on overhangs to like pivot, keep your hips in, and it's sort of like the drop knee. Yeah. Like pivot in mm -hmm. and then like keep your hips close, you can reach further. So it's like a like a drop knee, but not not so far. Yeah, it's, it's just, just pivoting little, like your foot. Like, like it's not like putting the whole knee down. Yeah. But like both sort of are similar. Yeah. Like with the effect they have. Mm -hmm. So like I've not thought about that in a long time when I do overhang. Like, you know, I haven't thought yeah. about pivoting my feet really. I feel like I get trapped into uh doing like this cross body lock off move so much. Yeah. Instead of this move. <laughs> right. I do this like really nasty yeah. move a lot. Yeah. For some reason. Uh huh. And I usually can, but it's like uh, it's very hard. Right. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah. And I think like I was wondering too because I was reading all of this and I was like, okay, you know, get better at all this technique, get better core, mm -hmm. get better footwork, but like. At the end, of it, like also, I guess a way to go up, as you've seen with Paul, is just get back and arms, like yeah, right. Because yeah. it's like, and then I was wondering, like, is that is that easier? Just oh, do arm workouts, crazy arm workouts. But maybe the ceiling is just lower because your arms will get burnt out quicker than yeah. your legs and your hips. Mm -hmm. So, I I'd, I'd imagine like having insane hand strength too. Yeah, that's my next point. There you go. <laughs> but we're not done with footwork. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you use flags a lot. You I only back do back flags. flags. Back flags are good. It's efficient. Don't have to swap. Yeah, the front but, flag is kind of a little awkward. For... But yeah. So learning to use flags well for balance. Smear, it said like when you smear on vertical climbs, like you want it to like stick. Or like on slab, you want to like stick it to the wall. surface area. Right. right. Yeah. It's said for overhang, smearing is like not meant to like stick, but it's meant to like help you move your hips in the right direction. So mm -hmm. like, if you like push, then you can twist your hips a different way. 
with a, a smear. With a smear. Oh, I see. Like, and that might be easier than just like moving them manually. So it's the same twist, same thing. drop knee yeah. type of move, yeah. right? Yeah. So it seems it seems like that's super seems crucial. like we're getting to a bottom line here. But... That's super crucial, and the core and pushing with the feet is super crucial, which all kind of ties into this, that similar move. Actually. Right, and then toe hooks are useful on overhangs to keep tension and like usually they'll just allow you to move something else like you mm -hmm. can't really go up with a toe hook like you can't yeah. push off of a toe yeah. hook at all so it's, it's compression it's like a static thing help you keep tension basically mm -hmm. it's just like a subcategory of improving your foot of all the footwork stuff so it seems like fo footwork is uh more because it I don't mm -hmm. know, it's just a pretty big topic of footwork. I know. <laughs> yeah, we have well, then we have heel hooks. Okay. Which are I was reading just like very versatile, which I think we uh, know. Yeah. Uh, like pulling in, pulling up, and keeping your hips close to the wall. Right. Which is all good. That's all that that's all that we've been talking about. So, so it seems like heel stuff. hooks are quite critical. I would say they're they're uh more useful than toe hooks. Just because you can use them in more cases. Yeah. Because you can use it to keep tension, but you can also use it to go up. Yeah. You can use it to keep your hips close to the wall. Mm -hmm. Versus toe hooks, I think you want to you, you, you want to get them away. Yeah. So it's kind of the opposite of what you're trying to do for most of the route. But yeah, it's a little bit weird there, isn't it? Right. But but okay butterfly effect we did this on our instagram yeah if you guys didn't so. catch that some <laughs> preliminary tries before we research some technique yeah so we honestly we were we were talking about this route when we were like talking about tension and hips and stuff yeah because i think it it works pretty well here the high feet are hard for me you'll see that difference between yeah. us so and then you'll see how when i can't keep the tension it gets a lot more difficult as well yep all right but yeah you or me you're first. Okay. This first move is really tough for us. It's like an undercling with like one foot. Yeah. And it's kind of a one hand. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about. Smear to get your hips in the right spot, right? Oh. Yeah, nice. That's nice. Very good. Yeah, come on. All right. Oh, yeah. That's it. Push. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, that was good. You do it better than me. That is hard. High foot, right? Yeah, it's hard. That's okay though. Mm-hmm. But I I felt like I did the beginning very well. I think you did too. I might have to pogo this. That's how I was trying it on the on the Instagram. On, on Instagram before. Which is just dead point catch. Right. No technique. That's yeah, that's arms, arms yeah. yeah. I'm I'm proud that you tried this high foot beta, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is also pinchy, which me and Anna aren't like that. Yeah. So. A little anti style, but. Which is also good to work. Yeah. This first move has been like one of the hardest moves for me. Cause yeah. It's like, it felt like a lot of arm, but maybe if I like keep my hips in, it'll be easy. Yeah. Very good. Really good. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. Wow. That is solid. He was a good job. That's the first so time I hit solid, that. solid, dude. Wow. Dude, that's the first time I kept my foot and then yeah. guess what? I got it. I know. Tension. Yeah, See? yeah. Yep, very well, good. Well, I think it would be easier for you if you like can go higher and then like so you can push down on it. Okay. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try it up. Yeah. yeah. Flag hard too. Okay. Come on. Yeah, oh, that was good. Nice. Good job. Oh, that was hard. I know. So you did a back flag. 
yeah. and tried to go up. I don't think it was good. And I, I do think having the two and then twisting could be better. Back flag was like too much lock off. Really good though. We're doing better than we did on the I Instagram video. Like How did we just do it this time? Oh! Come on. Nice. The next move, right? Mm, okay. Okay. I was also talking to Paul about a hand heel match. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, nice. Good. Back flag. Oh! I know. Is it? Wait, is it like a... No! Is it? I don't know. That's tricky. Oh my God, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like you're just holding too much of it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let yeah, me, like, let me try again. Work in theory. Yeah. Let me try one more time. Paul and I think maybe it's this huge bump. Oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, and then match, right? And then- I think it's like this, and then- Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got you. Ooh. It's hard, right? But yeah. I, it does feel right to me. I don't, I, yeah, I think that's probably the beta. Maybe. Yeah. It's what we think. Come on. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's hard to keep tension. Yeah, so pretty hard one. Uh, you want to try like one more? Yeah. Do our hang one. Yeah. What is this? Curious so, George V7? Curious George V7. Should be a bit easier than Butterfly. Yep. Uh, me or you? You're up. Since I'm shocked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice, come on. Oh, very nice. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, beautiful. Come oh, on. Geez. Oh, yep. Ah, that was really good, though. That? That looks is, super hard. It's really hard. There you go. Yeah, okay. Nice. Pretty hard move. Wow, good job. And then this moves hard. Really hard move here. Wow, that was solid. I mean, hey, right? Like, yeah. we made it to the crux, I think. We did. Oh! Is that better? Oh! Wow! Oh, awesome! Come on, Paul. Oh, really good. Yeah, cool, that, that was cool beta, yeah. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Paul. Nice, very good. See what I mean? Very good. Very good. Oh, you just go out. Really good. Good work. Oh, yeah, nice. Hey, that's the sequence, though. Yeah, so that was really, really nice. Um, Drop down works shockingly well. Yeah, and then the last move is just like a full pull commit. Mm -hmm. Maybe you even kick your feet up. Yeah. And then it's an easy tap up. But yeah, that was pretty good work on the seven. Butterfly effect still quite hard. Yeah. We'll come back to it. Making but... progress, so that's cool. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna yeah. um, move on to the next section now. Last but not least is finger strength. Which is not as specific to like overhang climbing, but like in general, that's how you progress. You like get stronger hands, like. And I like really, it was baffling to me. Like I read three different articles, and like they didn't talk about improving your arms. Mm. 
It's like just, it was yeah. weird, and I didn't know if like why if it was like. Oh, all right. So I have this weird suspicion I've had for actually like maybe years now. I I've told you before once maybe, but you know how you feel when you're on a V two overhang cave with really deep jugs. You feel like you don't actually need arms. Okay. Like you, you feel like you can just grab and just like walk right up, right? Because you're so solid on your hands and even your feet. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, if you could hold a jug as well as you could hold a one pad, then it's similar. Yeah. So why would you need to do like arms? Crazy pull, like. Yeah. And so I was always wondering, like, okay, so if I could just crimp way harder, that's basically just all I have. Yeah. And I mean... That's what they were saying. Like, they were not talking about arms. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, it's kind of weird. Because, like, every time we would film and, like, I had a little circuit I would do, which was, like, pull-ups, push-ups, rows. Like, yeah. arms, back, all, like, full, triceps. You know, upper body which, strength. Which, I guess that's not even useful. Like, I mean, it might be, but it's not, it's like... general condition. It's not, like, the the big three, per se, I for overhang. Like, so, finger strength, footwork, tension, and hips are more important than back and arms. So, core, feet, and hands. Yeah. That's pretty surprising. I know. Isn't that? I I, I was shocked about that, too. But like, the finger strength, not so surprising. Right. Because that's useful for, like, everything. And it was also saying, like, to improve, like, know where you fall on overhangs. Like, do you fall when you hit the crimp and you just can't hold the crimp? Or... Mm -hmm. Are you falling because your feet are always cutting or like, and then you can kind of see like what you need to work on. Like if you're not falling because of the crimps and your weakness is just your core, then like work on that. But mm -hmm. if you're falling off the pinches or the crimps, like then you need to improve your hand strength. Yeah. Having the upper body strength just aids your hands. Yeah. You know? Right. I was... So probably still helps. For sure. For sure. Like, Even on your grip strength, I think. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen it. Like, like if I bend my arm and try to hang one-handed, I'm better than if I just dangle. Yeah. I think it is useful because you can kind of, like, skip around everything. Like, you don't have to have perfect footwork or perfect tension yeah. or super strong hands yeah. if you can kind of compensate with, with your with arms. arms yeah. But it, it is just weird that I didn't see like arms as a yeah. thing to get better at overhang. Like, yeah, so it was weird. Uh -huh. And like I saw, I read like two that were that seemed like not for beginners because it was like getting complicated into hips. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't tell that to a V1 climber. Yeah. And then a, a different one was like more of a beginner thing, and it was still talking about tension and hand strength. Okay. So it. So pretty much universal. Yeah. Like so, it's kind of like well, okay. <clears throat> I guess I will not be doing my arm workout and do a hangboard instead. Okay. Yeah, we'll do hangs more. And then it was like, if you do the hangboard in a hollow body, then you get like a two and one because you get core and then also hands versus yeah. if you just kind of like dead hang. So it's also worth if you want to do a hangboard to do it in a hollow body. So this way instead of like this. Too, yeah, right? you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hollow, hollow. Right. be able to hang on 25 super easily and 20 for like one second. With one hand? Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know if I can anymore. I'm a bit heavier than I was. Mm -hmm. Like my best ever was on a 20. I could do like one or two seconds of that. Maybe I should do a lock off too. Would Maybe that be easier? easier? I don't know. Okay, so we've done a few sets, but we're gonna do also like a small edge, like a 10 or an eight or something. Oh, that's, that's tough. Eight, eight is hard. I don't think hard. I can hollow on that. No, But no. I'll just try to hang. Eight, eight is hard. You could do 10 if you want to. Let's see, you'll just see. Okay. 
Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's solid. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Eight as well. Yeah, eights are also in that like area where it just actually hurts a bit too. I know. Because when they're bigger, they don't hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna be careful. Wait, is this an eight? <laughs> that's an eight, yeah. And this? Yeah. Oh, pull up. Okay. Really good. So that was the hangboard part of the training. Um, yeah, we're filming this kind of out of order, so I'm assuming we're going to be tired. Because <laughs> we're... So that was really tiring, guys. Um... Just oh, recap it. Right. Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this style of video. We're we're trying to um, come up with more specific and like measurable goals for us to improve. So we wanted to start with overhang, and we learned about hips, tension, various kinds of footwork, and improving your finger strength and like your hand strength. So hopefully you guys also learned something and this was useful and that you liked the video. We're gonna try to do this type of video with like different types of things in climbing because there's a lot to cover. Mm -hmm. um, this was just the first one because we like overhang, so yeah. we wanted to start with that. But and we're still gonna do like vlog. training yeah. vlogs too. But like but... we're just trying something different. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let us know if you want to see more videos like this or like what topics we should cover or anything. But... Yeah. Also, um, I feel like this type of video like lets other people kind of join in the same training too mm -hmm. yeah like you guys can try a very similar thing if mm -hmm. you want to group as well so. right all right see you next week